Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 11. This week I'm going to be talking about the Camera Axe 5 Shield. Some of you are probably wondering why do I call this the Camera Axe 5 Shield? What does Shield have to do with anything? To understand that, let me point out the Adreno microcontroller development platform here. Uh, the Adreno is uh, a development board, it's open source and there's also software that's open source associated with Adreno and in fact I've been using the Adreno uh, software to program previous versions of the Camera Axe and I'll continue to use it for future versions of the Camera Axe. It's, it's great software, makes development very easy and it's then people can easily upgrade firmware versions for the Camera Axe or even develop their own versions of the firmware. This is a very popular and easy to use a microcontroller development platform and it's available around the world for you know about 30 bucks and the idea with the camera axe shield is that you're going to be able to plug it into these two rows of headers here so on the camera axe shield there's headers that uh, there's pins that'll plug into those headers so we just plug it in like this and it's assembled the main reason I went with the shield design is it lowers the component uh, count on the board makes it easier for people to assemble their own I've gone with all through hole component parts for the shield uh, the camera Axe 5 has a lot of really tiny surface mount parts and it's just very difficult to assemble that at home I figured that most people wouldn't be able to do that so I'm not going to be offering sort of that uh, version with uh, a kit option instead the, everybody who wants to buy a kit will go with the shield they'll have to purchase the Adreno board separately but the, the shield itself will be much cheaper than I was able to sell previous kits for because um, a lot of the uh, functionality is on the Adreno board and then all of the components that are left on this board are through hole and much easier to solder. Um, this board is 100% compatible with the uh, assembled camera axe so that means it's going to have all of the same buttons, um, it has the same LED indicators, uh, it has the same input and output uh, protection uh, for these jacks to control the cameras and flashes on this side the sensor ports are over here uh, everything functionally what functionality wise is a hundred percent compatible with the version that's assembled and in fact this version of the camera axe will use the exact same software as the assembled version so the real differences are just in the appearance of this versus the uh, uh, ca assembled camera axe. So if you want to program this version you'll use the uh, USB port on the Adreno microcontroller board and if you want to power this um, you can either power it through that USB port or you can use a standard uh, 2.1 millimeter DC jack and plug that into the, uh, the uh, Adreno board and then uh, everything here works uh, the same as it'll work on the uh, assembled camera axe. So I just wanted to get this out there so that people knew that there were big changes coming with this version of the camera axe and how kits were going to work. In the past the kit and the assembled version looked the same in the end. Uh, this time I've gone with the shield and some of the reasons I've done that is it, it lets the, the cost of the camera axe uh, kit be lower than it would have been otherwise. It, it makes assembling the camera axe kit easier. Uh, it also uh, you know leverages the Adreno development platform community. So I think there's you know a lot of benefits of this direction. I'm sure some people will think there's some downsides but you know I think that the diversity it's a good thing and like I said the functionality and the software of this is identical to the assembled camera axe 
in the end people can pick which one to make or you know the plans will all be out there so um, under open source so if people want to make their own you know go ahead that's what the, the camera axe community is all about so in future blogs I'll be giving a lot more details on the camera axe kit and on the camera axe 5 itself um, the assembled version I, I do think that the the kit will be available hopefully around the end of July that's still a bit of a guess uh, this is not the final version of the board. Some things are going to get moved around a little bit. Uh, I found some layout issues with this version, but I've ordered that next version of the PCB, and if that works out well, uh, I should have kits available around the end of July. As for the uh, assembled version, uh, moving ahead full steam on that, it should be hopefully available around the end of August, but there's still a few questions um, about that uh, but I'll be sure to keep everybody updated I know a lot of people are sending me questions via email and I try to do my best to answer them um, but it's better to keep this stuff on the forums thanks for watching